On the 5th of February 1909, Belgian chemist Leo Bakeland announced the invention of Bakelite, the world's first synthetic plastic. Welcome to History Pod. Bakeland was born in the Belgian city of Ghent, where he became a professor of chemistry, but settled in America after visiting New York City while on travel scholarship. After inventing a photographic paper that he sold to George Eastman of the Eastman Kodak Company, Bakeland turned his attention to researching synthetic resins. Although the German chemist Adolf von Bayer had previously experimented with phenols and formaldehydes, Bakeland built on his work by exploring the effect of different pressures and temperatures. By 1907, he'd found a way to produce a hard, moldable plastic, which he named Bakelite. Once set, it was able to retain its shape. Although Bakeland filed a patent for his creation in July 1907, he didn't publicly announce it until a meeting of the New York section of the American Chemical Society on the 5th of February 1909. The US patent was granted in December, but by then he'd already begun marketing it as a material for electrical insulators. The emerging automobile industry also began using Bakelite in components because of its resistance to heat and chemical action. However, the commercial success of Bakelite extended way beyond its utility. Its distinctive appearance, often characterised by a deep, rich colour and a polished sheen, became a hallmark of the Art Deco era. This aesthetic appeal added another layer to Bakelite's rapid and widespread adoption, revolutionising the production of both industrial and commercial items while marking the start of the modern plastics industry. <laughs> 